Remember, Problem Sleuth belongs to Andrew Hussey and Homestuck.com. You got it? Okay, cool. Enjoy the show. It's your secret hideaway. A great place for ducking into and being persecuted by unscrupulous whores. Acrid fumes from the room fill your nostrils. Go up the dumbwaiter. The dumbwaiter goes up, revealing the phone parts, which had fallen down the shaft earlier. While you're at it, you compose another unpleasant note on the back of one of the others, and slip it through the slot. Problem Sleuth, get phone parts and hook them up to your phone. Your phone is now two-thirds complete. Hoot. Alright, we're making progress. Hey Stick, exit dumbwaiter. Open the door lock with the Tommy Con. You throw your ring of keys at the lock. They jangle uselessly against the door. You're not sure what you expected was going to happen. Man, I sure can be dumb sometimes. The ring of keys ammo is down to 90%. Pick up keys. You pick up the Tommy gun. Hey Stick, use rope to escape the office through the window. You won't need to use the rope to escape through the window. There is a fire escape stairway. You climb onto the generator, out the window, and onto the stairs. The generator is chugging away. It is fueled by potent grain alcohol. Its fuel gauge is at 80%. Go downstairs. The stairs end at the roof of an adjacent building. There is a pulley on the other side. There is a small skylight window on the center of the roof. Look in window. It's Pickle Inspector. The poor sap is trapped in his office. No doubt by that petty bastard problem sleuth. He is currently in his fort. There is no light in his office. His skylight window must not be powered. You suddenly feel weird about standing on the other side of an unpowered window. You feel as though there will probably be metaphysical consequences. A frightened beast appears! Problem Sleuth, alert Pickle Inspector to turn on his window. You have a feeling your portly ally is in trouble somehow. You pound against the wall, but the Inspector is in his fort, off in his own world. Hey man, could you turn on the window please? Inspector! Pickle Inspector! Hey! <sighs> That's no use. Problem Sleuth, drink whiskey and go into the fort. You decide to take the matter up with him directly. You take a healthy swig from your flask of whiskey to boost your imagination and duck into the old fort. Hey Stick, address this beast situation. Hey Stick, appease the beast by doing the truffle shuffle. In a stunning homage to the tubby boy Chunk and the Goonies, you lift your shirt and produce the most blubber jostling jig you can muster. You are quickly slain by the hungry beast. No, wait. Never mind. You really like the Goonies, and you think the Beast probably does too. But you think a little restraint is called for in this situation. Hey Stick, use your keys to kill the Beast. You squeeze the trigger of your Tommy gun and fill the creature with lead. The Beast is unfazed. You're down to only 5% ammo, and you doubt the remainder of your bullets will finish off the encroaching monster. Hey Stick, get the fuck out of here! Ah! Fuck! 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 Hey, stick, vomit up key. I can't just vomit up things on command. That's ridiculous. On the other hand, when there's liquor in your system, that's a different story. Hey, stick, take a healthy swig of whiskey to restore some vim. Well, okay, it's not whiskey, but you decide to open your crute of brandy and throw back a stiff belt. The alcohol has no effect on your vim characteristic, but it quickly maxes out your crude little imagination gauge. The room starts spinning. You'll need to duck into a safe space to expand the imagination fast. Hey Stick, go into fort. You are standing in your imaginary office. You can hardly believe how shitty your imagination is. Hey Stick, pick up poorly drawn gun. You pick up the shitty gun. You'd be shocked if it worked at all. Eh, well, it is a dream, so never know. Hey Stick, head over to Pickle Inspector's place for the imaginary mixer. Problem Sleuth is already there, trying to get into the locked office. Come on, open up, damn it! Step aside, you weak husband. Hey Stick, knock furiously on the door. You shatter the glass with your beefy fist. Look inside. It is Pickle Inspector's imaginary office. He sure knows how to live it up. He uses his potent and imaginative powers to replace the broken door with one of solid steel. Problem Sleuth is gone. He probably went downstairs. Follow him. Rounding up items scattered on the street and tying them to the magnetic tape. It looks like he brought down a large bag of candy corn from his office. He may have considered tying it to the tape, but it is too heavy to be hauled up through the window. Probably will need to be hauled up by something stronger, like a rope. 
Perhaps one slung around a pulley. Problem sleuth, tape up with hammer and phone part. You let go of the tape. It is reeled in through the window with the items. Unfortunately, the hammer catches on the window's power cord and unplugs it. A terrifying beast appears! You are both armed with imaginary weapons and ready for melee. Engage JRPG battle sequence. Problem sleuth, get the dog walking gentleman to help you out. Hey buddy, give us a hand, will ya? The gentleman appears to be a brainless non-entity. Hey stick, use half-dead body as bait for the monster. Eat shit! The beast gobbles up the torso. He is temporarily placated by the red meat. Hey stick and problem sleuth, fire at will. Your imaginary guns seem to be no more effective than pea shooters. Ace's bullets barely manage to clear the barrel. The beast suffers minimal damage. You stand on the cinder blocks and take aim. Your piece of shit gun jams and explodes. The beast takes significant damage. Ace Dick loses an imaginary life. Ace Dick is returned to the physical plane. You puke. Check on imaginary battle. Problem Sleuth has been slain by the beast. You wake up from your imaginary boss battle with a very real hangover. You quickly drink some coffee to restore your vim. Problem Sleuth, plug window back in. Examine loot tied to tape. The recording device reeled in the phone receiver and the hammer. Problem Sleuth, put your phone back together. Finally, you can field some phone calls from flustered broads. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. You put the hammer in your inventory. Problem Sleuth, call Pickle Inspector with newly assembled phone. You don't know Pickle Inspector's number, or if he even has a phone. Besides, your rotary dial appears to have strange symbols on it rather than numbers. Eh, <sighs> shit, it's always something. You vaguely recall seeing somewhere the sequence of symbols. Star. Heart. Horseshoe. However, you can't quite remember the symbols star, heart, horseshoe. You will need the piece of paper with star, heart, horseshoe written on it if you wish to remember the sequence star, heart, horseshoe. Hey stick, search through your vomit to find your key. You pick up the small key. Hey stick, check if the key works on the lock in the safe room. You unlock the lock and open the door. Powerful fumes waft into your nostrils. Problem sleuth, use hammer to pry boards off door in safe room. You pry at the boards with the hammer. But before you can pry any off, the door swings open, away from the boards. It seems the boards never actually served to obstruct the door in the first place. Hey, Stick, Problem Sleuth, examine rooms. 